With the Golden State Warriors' five-year stretch of making the NBA Finals coming to an end, a lot changed in season 2020. The Golden State Warriors became one of the worst teams in the NBA. They had the two-time unanimous MVP Stephen Curry become injured. Klay Thompson missed the 2020 season to miss 2021 as well. Draymond Green looking uneasy on the court, not having his NBA championship teammates there with him and also losing Kevin Durant. A lot changed with the Golden State Warriors last season, but they are looking like a scary team going to season 2021, even without Klay Thompson being on the roster. We're going to break down in this video what I believe the Golden State Warriors will look like in season 2020-2021, and we're going to see if they can really win that NBA championship. I want to know what you believe down below in the comment section, so before the video begins, let me know down below, do you believe the Golden State Warriors can win the NBA championship in season 2021? And if you could help me out by hitting that like button, let's aim for 500 likes, subscribe if you're new for NBA content, and hit that notification button so you never miss an upload. And with that said, let's get into the video. There is no questioning the Golden State Warriors are one of their most interesting teams going to season 2021. And with the 2020-2021 season opener right around the corner, one of the big questions is can the Golden State Warriors return to the NBA Finals? With the help of Kevin Durant, the Golden State Warriors were able to capture two NBA championships and before they had Kevin Durant, they were the best team of all time record-wise winning 73-9 and they were an NBA championship team as well. Obviously, with Kevin Durant gone and Klay Thompson injured, can the Golden State Warriors still win an NBA championship? And that's what we're going to break down in this video and the reasons why I believe they are still a team that others have to fear. It's a new season without Klay Thompson. And there's no questioning, once you're in the playoffs, anything is truly possible. We saw the Denver Nuggets knock off the Los Angeles Clippers down three games to one, and I think that next season, it's very likely that a team can emerge and be a surprising team to make the NBA Finals, just like the Miami Heat were in the Eastern Conference. But there is one team that everyone seems to be questioning, and that is the Golden State Warriors, so let's break it down. First of all, there are some pretty big questions. Number one, can Stephen Curry stay healthy? The first unanimous MVP, can he really bounce back to the way he was before his injury? Steph is a two-time MVP, and many argue that he is the greatest point guard and will be the greatest point guard once his career is said and done. But he has had some injury concerns throughout his career. He was able to stay healthy when he won his NBA championships, and that was one of the big reasons for his emergence, was simply his ability to stay healthy when he needed to, where in prior seasons, he was injured with ankle injuries and all these issues that he wasn't able to overcome at the start of his career. But once he was able to maintain his health, stay on the court, and play at an all-star level, he quickly transitioned to an MVP candidate and then a two-time MVP. Last season though, it was bad luck for both Curry and the Golden State Warriors. They'd obviously lost Kevin Durant in the offseason, Klay Thompson was out injured for the year, and then they lost Stephen Curry. So the Warriors saw themselves with the second overall pick and they drafted James Wiseman who many consider, and I would strongly consider him, the most ready NBA prospect in the league. But it also leads me into another question. You rarely see a top three pick straight away enter a championship organization and to see a rookie contribute to a title contending team is going to be a lot of fun to watch and I think it's going to be one of the most interesting storylines this season. And then you have the re-emergence of Draymond Green, a guy who's an all-star level player but he really needs other supporting casts around him. He's not going to get you 20 to 30 points a night, he's not going to be able to play his role if he doesn't have solid teammates around him, which was the reason why he had a little bit of an off year. And no, Draymond Green in my opinion is not overrated. His stats don't show up on the score sheet, but he is a really solid player and a guy that you need on your team to win NBA championships. He's the heart and soul of the Golden State Warriors and he, along Besides Stephen Curry will be the leaders of this team with Klay Thompson being out but I think he's going to find it a lot easier now that he has a bigger supporting cast with Steph back, Andrew Wiggins, Kelly Oubre and James Wiseman. I think he's going to have a lot of fun once again and he's going to be the X factor for the Golden State Warriors next season. He's an incredible defender and for a guy who now has a supporting cast around him he's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Then you've got the big question of Andrew Wiggins. What is he going to do? Is he going to be able to fit in with Kelly Oubre, Draymond Green and Steph Curry? Is he the guy that can actually take that next step? Because every year everyone's always saying, okay, this is the year Andrew Wiggins is finally going to take that next step. He's going to become an all-star player. He was a top three pick. He's going to be the guy and he hasn't yet produced anything in the league. But I think under any team, 
This is the team that he should be a part of, the Golden State Warriors. This is where he can really make a home for himself and just become a solid role player that will make an impact when he's on the court. He's got all the athletic ability to be a solo player. He just has to find a role, in my opinion. And I think in this team, he can definitely find a role as a solo defender and a scoring threat when need be. He's definitely not as great of a facilitator as Andre Iguodala, nor does he have the defensive capabilities of Andre Iguodala, but he fits that Iggy type mold where he can be a serviceable player just if he plays his role and doesn't do anything more or anything less. If he can simply average around 15 points with solid defense on good efficiency, that's all the Warriors will really need out of Andrew Wiggins next season. So now let's look at something I think is most interesting and the reason why I don't count out the Golden State Warriors next season. Now obviously, I wanna make this very clear. These two players are not in any way, shape or form close to one another. Obviously, Klay Thompson is one of the best two-way players in the league. He's an incredible defender and he's one of the best shooters the league has ever seen. You can't compare him to Kelly Oubre. And the stats don't showcase what Klay Thompson does night in and night out. But to give you a brief understanding of what Kelly Oubre means to this Golden State Warriors team whilst Klay Thompson is out, he's a very solid addition. He's a guy that can hit shots and average around 20 points per game with the Golden State Warriors, which replaces Klay Thompson's 21 to 23 points a night when he is playing for the Golden State Warriors. Obviously, field goal percentage is quite different with Kelly Oubre shooting 35% and Klay Thompson shooting 40%, but Kelly Oubre can still find a role for this Golden State Warriors team and play a very serviceable role and be able to help Steph and Draymond do what they do on the court. If you leave him open, Kelly Oubre is a strong enough shooter to be able to hit the open three, but he's also a decent enough defender to actually replace Klay Thompson when he is injured. He's not going to provide what Klay Thompson provides, but he's going to be a very serviceable player and he's going to fill a void that the Golden State Warriors need to have filled. And Kelly Oubre is only 24 years of age. He's a guy that has a lot of potential and he's only reaching the prime of his career. If he averaged 19 points last season, 18.7, I can see that going up to 20 points per game on better shooting efficiency with an MVP like Stephen Curry on his team. In fact, a two-time MVP in Steph and a Defensive Player of the Year in Draymond Green as both of those players are great facilitators on the court and he's a good enough shooter to be able to hit his open shots and also athletic enough to go inside and finish with contact and play solid defense. So we've basically talked about the entire starting five, but one thing I'm really excited for the Golden State Warriors next season is their bench depth. They have a very solid bench. And that was another question when they had Kevin Durant was they don't really have a bench. They have a great playoff lineup and a team that is really ready for the finals because in the finals, you really only need a lineup of about seven to eight players. And if you have Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, Dramo Green, Clay Thompson, you'll be fine. But when they lost Kevin Durant and they also didn't really replace their bench, it was a big question mark with the Golden State Warriors. But I think their bench depth is actually very solid this season. Eric Pascal is a solid player and had a lot of learning experiences last season. Same with Marquise Chris and Damian Lee. And I think they'll be able to play even better than they did last season just because of the learning experiences they got last season when they lost Curry and lost Draymond and obviously didn't have Klay Thompson. Those learning experiences will be great and very beneficial for this Warriors team going into this season and they also added Kent Bazemore back, a guy that was a previous Golden State Warrior player, and he's also a great three-point shooter for the outside. I think they've got a very nice team going to next season. I'm very excited to see what they do, and I think they're the underrated team that can actually win it all next season. Obviously, a lot depends on James Wiseman and the health of the Golden State Warriors as a whole. If James Wiseman is a 15 to 20 point per game player, Draymond Green just plays the way he played during his finals runs when he was one of the best, if not arguably the best defender in the league. Then you've also got Kelly Oubre averaging 20 points, Wiggins averaging 15 to 20 on better efficiency, and then a two-time MVP in Stephen Curry. With decent bench players and a pretty solid supporting cast, I don't think you should count out the Golden State Warriors going into next season. And I will probably make my predictions for the NBA standings, telling you guys which teams I believe will make the playoffs. But I think on paper, they've got a very solid roster and I think they can be better than the Clippers, the Nuggets, the Rockets, the Thunder, the Jazz, the Mavericks, the Trailblazers. Let me know what you think. Can they win an NBA championship? I believe they can. So let's find out. And with that said, let me know what you think about the video down below in the comment section. Do you believe the Golden State Warriors can win an NBA championship? I'd really appreciate it if you guys could leave a like to show your support. Subscribe if you're new for NBA content every single week. And hit that notification button so you never miss an upload. I will catch you guys in my next video. I am out.